Welcome to Military Upgrade. Experts say US 5th generation fighter aircraft, the stealthy F-22 and F-35, remain the best in the world. However, China is upgrading its J-20, Mighty Dragon, to try to close the gap. The J-20A, developed by Chengdu Aerospace Corp., is the People's Liberation Army Air Force's heavy twin-engine, single-seat, low-observability, multi-role jet that made its first flight in 2011. The PLA's planned fielding of a fifth-generation fighter force will bolster its air-to-air -air capability, the U.S. Defense Intelligence Agency said in its most recent annual report to Congress, Military and Security Developments Involving the People's Republic of China, 2020. The aircraft has high maneuverability, stealth characteristics, an internal weapons bay, advanced avionics and sensors providing enhanced situational awareness, advanced radar tracking and targeting capabilities, and integrated electronic warfare systems, the study said. Justin Bronk, a research fellow for air power and technology at the United Kingdom-based Royal United Services Institute for Defense and Security Studies, said the J-20 is the centerpiece of the PLAAF's modernization push. Its combination of passive sensors, active electronically scanned array radar, low observability features, range on internal fuel, and long-range missiles make the J-20 a qualitatively greater threat than any previous non-Western combat aircraft. He said in a RUSI report published last year, Russian and Chinese combat air trends, current capabilities and future threat outlook. The aircraft leverages technology design stolen from the United States through industrial espionage, analysts have noted. The design incorporates many features which have been copied from the F-22 and F-35, including nose cone shaping, the electro-optical targeting system, EOTS, under the nose, and the side-mounted, diverterless supersonic inlet, intakes, the RUSI report said. However, the J-20 is no mere imitation and has several design features suggesting a carefully weighted consideration of specific Chinese capability requirements, the study noted. The system's internal fuel capacity and ability to carry up to four external fuel tanks will allow it to operate as a long-range interceptor and hunt down U.S. tanker and intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance aircraft far from the Chinese mainland, it said. However, the J-20A has some shortcomings, analysts say. The platform is the largest low-observability fighter currently in production, the RUSI report noted. The downside is a heavier, less agile aircraft which will be more expensive to build and operate. It also cannot compete with the extreme performance or agility of the F-22, Raptor built by Lockheed Martin. It also features forward canards which are suboptimal from a stealth perspective, and the planes have been powered by Russian AL-31 series engines without low observability serrated nozzles. The engines leave the aircraft, somewhat underpowered, and unable to supercruise, and also increase their radar cross-section, it noted. China claims that the J-20A also features a variety of advanced sensors, as well as a fully digital glass cockpit and a helmet-mounted display. However, it is very difficult to assess the credibility of the sensor suite as claimed, the RUSI report said. The rate of iterative development, testing and production also remains extremely high. Meaning that while it may be a reasonable assumption that Chengdu have not yet solved the many challenges inherent in true sensor fusion and seamless passive sensor integration, future J20B, C variants will continue to close the technological gap with the US. John Venable, a defense expert at the Washington DC-based Heritage Foundation think tank and a former US Air Force pilot, said foreign observers can't fully measure the J20 stealth. He explained in an interview. One is the exterior design and how that enables radar evasion. Heat signature and electronic emissions are also major factors that affect observability. The United States is almost certainly employing intelligence gathering assets to try to learn more about the aircraft. However, those efforts may only yield informed guesstimates. Those all give us a better and better picture, but not until we get our hands on the platform will we really know what they're capable of doing, Venable said. During the Cold War, the United States was able to acquire Soviet fighters from nations they had been exported to, and examine them up close, he noted. However, the J-20 is unlikely to be exported for the foreseeable future as China tries to protect the PLAAF's best air superiority asset from prying eyes, according to the RUSI report. Despite some unknowns, 
Western analysts say the United States is still ahead of China when it comes to fifth-gen fighters. Aside from very long-range air-to-air missiles, there are few areas of capability where the PLOF is yet directly able to compete one-to-one -one with the best that the US and European air forces can feel, the Rusi report said. The F-22 is widely considered to be the best air superiority fighter in the world based on its flight performance characteristics and stealth. However, the survivability of the F-35 in a dogfight has been called into question by some observers. Richard Abalafia, vice president of analysis at the Teal Group, said the F-22 is an amazing air vehicle, but the F-35 Joint Strike Fighter, although stealthy, isn't top-notch when it comes to speed, acceleration, altitude and time to climb. However, the Lockheed Martin-built F-35 has a fantastic equipment package, he added. Another major selling point is its sensor fusion, situational awareness and connectivity capabilities. It is designed to take out enemy aircraft long before they could get close enough to engage in a dogfight. Retired General Hawk Carlisle, President and CEO of the National Defense Industrial Association and former Commander of Air Combat Command, has flown F-22 and F-35 simulators. Clearly the F-22 is the best air-to-ground, fighter, airplane in the world, in my opinion, except for the F-35. And the F-35 is the best air superiority airplane in the world except for the F-22, he said during a recent podcast hosted by Francis Rose. Venable believes the US systems would come out on top in a head-to-head -head matchup with China's platforms. The J-20, in my estimation, would be dead long before it had the ability to maneuver against either the F-22 or the F-35, he said. It's got enough spikes on it to where the radar returns on it are likely to be much more significant, which means that the F-22 and the F-35 can see it a lot farther away. Because US 5th Gen fighters are stealthier, our ability to find, fix and be able to target the J-20 is going to be significantly more advanced than the J-20's ability to target us," Venable said. So far, the PLOF has operationally fielded limited numbers of the J-20, according to the DIA report. The 9th Aviation Brigade was the first PLOF combat unit known to be equipped with the system. However, an April 2021 satellite image indicates that the 1st Aviation Brigade may also be operating the jet, according to a recent paper published by the U.S. Air University's China Aerospace Studies Institute, 2nd Combat Brigade of PRC Air Force likely receives stealth fighter. Having another aviation brigade transition to the J-20 would suggest that, the PLOF is satisfied with, and confident in, the capabilities of the J-20, and that more combat units are likely to receive the J-20 in the future, the paper's author Derek Solon said.